they said there needs to be some kind of way of making my parents pay for not looking after me better as a child. There was talk of seeking legal action, taking my parents to court, getting money out of anybody, obviously, to invest back in Lighthouse, I now know. I want to take total responsibility. I just want to sit in front of them and say to, to them, they, they've never taken it seriously enough. I just want them to, to tell them how, what an impact it's had. What I've been realising the last year is a, a lot of the issues I've had in my relationships is because of you and mum being extremely irresponsible when I was a child. You, you've never, neither of you have really spoken to me about it. Mum continually blame, continue blames me for her troubles, like that awful, horrendous email she sent me a few Christmases ago, blaming me for everything that's wrong in her life. Paul Wall seemed obsessed with talking about sexual abuse, about how damaged I was. You need to invest in yourself because you're broken. This doesn't come from nowhere. This comes from the abuse you've got as a child. It comes from a family of serpents and pricks and cowards. To me, it's abusive. It's, yeah, it's just it's disrespectful because I've asked for space. And, and I think it's not just the fact that they're constantly texting me, which you don't do to an adult in her 40s. It's that they're doing it in a way that dismisses everything that's been said between us. I get text messages from mum saying, I know you have no joy in your life. I know you have no happiness in your life. You know, I mean, that's not the sort of thing that you send your daughter. It's a horrible thing to do. That was only a few weeks ago. She was concerned about you. You don't tell someone they've got no joy in their life. Yeah, she's scared the life out of me. My whole life, I'm scared of upsetting her. I need to confront with a lot of stuff because I'm still getting a bit bullied by and and I'm still getting blamed for a lot of stuff by mum and he's not doing my mental health any good. Erin was sexually abused as a child by someone known to her family. It's incest and I was extremely vulnerable. It started out as just sort of molesting and then it just got, it just, he persuaded me that that's what I should be doing and that's what was doing with his girlfriend and that it was love and it was okay, we went with your brother and sister and you know, that's what I should be doing and he just, he just lured me into it. Do you know how old I was then? I think you were 13. Yeah, I was about 13 and was... Um, 17. 17. It was rape, basically. I know you've made this arrangement to speak to uh, your, your, your parents today. Uh, I want to tell you, I don't think you're ready for it. I think if you're trying to motivate this thing too quick, I think you need to get some guidance on this and some professional guidance, who's, somebody who's dedicated their life to helping people confront situations like this. Who have you been getting your counselling from? Who is it? Well, it's a local person. I've been a local person, but this is the light, Lighthouse guys are the ones that um, suggested that I go and get external counselling because they could see that I had, I was struggling. And there's no doubt that this happened. I'd love to be involved in some way in the future, maybe you know, webinars or something like that. I just, I, uh, I think we're incredible, and um, I really, really honour you all and all of the work 
and and I just it's just it's I just it's just not for me. It's just not for me. I feel I need to um get some counselling and see a psychotherapist and really I've got no I really have no foundation um to be capable of doing this work and guys I, I need to I need to pull out I need to pull out. It's a really difficult decision for me but um I'm not strong enough for this. I'm not sleeping and um, it's like big waves of terror, you know, and it's not lighthouse, it's not you guys, I never would be, uh, it's my parents, I know it is.